and we are all systems go for the sports awards 2020 so right first things first i want to share my gallery i want to get gallery up so i can see everyone's faces and everyone can give me a nice big wave come on let's see everybody some smiling faces i've missed all you guys yeah Woo! amazing so many of you here that is unbelievable so so pleased with that well done so right let me just sort my screen out a little bit and we'll be able to see each other uh, here we are right so first things first good afternoon everybody it is great to see everyone's faces once again we've missed you all we really have the p department we never stop talking about how we miss everyone we just want to see all your faces thank you so much for joining us this afternoon to celebrate this year's sporting successes right so let me unmute everybody now because now we've got everyone on oh, mrs peacock is just joining us so right i'm going to now unmute everybody give me a sec and then i want everybody to give us a huge huge cheer okay so when i say unmute all who can hear me let's give us a nice big cheer hi everybody hi Hello. Unbelievable. Hello. Right, okay, that's it. And that's enough now. I'm going to mute you all again. <laughs> right, so now you're all muted. It's back to me again. I love hearing the sound of my own voice. So uh, let's just run for a couple of bits and pieces. So uh, this is a completely different way of us uh, doing these awards, presenting these awards this afternoon. Hopefully, fingers crossed nothing is going to go wrong and it's all going to be absolutely fine but as a lot of people know i'm not the most technical when it comes to computers so please bear with me and hopefully the next hour will go by seamlessly mr heskiv is loving himself already having a nice big chuckle there so uh as i said we are recording these awards and all the videos at the start everything is going to go onto the youtube channel at the end of this maybe tomorrow so if you've missed if you missed the videos at the start or if you've uh, if someone's missed this and you're like oh you've missed it they can all watch it again on youtube in the next couple of days and we'll send out a nice email to let all you know all you guys know that okay um right then let's get on my opening speech even though this year sport was cut short we are still able to make our mark in dubai for being a small school, we definitely make a lot of noise in BSME and DASA competitions. And I'm not just talking about Miss Lee and Miss Brendares on the sidelines, screaming and shouting. Your commitment and your dedication to sport is undeniable. We work so hard as a team and we like always come through together and we really are a sporting force to be recognised. Throughout the year, we've had students breaking records. We've taken part in competitions that we've never done before. And we've been finalists, runners up, and even champions. Really does show that everybody counts, everybody contributes, and we all really have succeeded. <laughs> Lovely job. All of these fantastic accomplishments though, would not have been possible without the dedication, time, and effort of uh, the amazing PE staff that we have. But not only the PE staff, but it's all the, all the teachers as well that take up their time to help us. So Coach Mike, Mr. Catchpole, Miss Day, Miss Gibbon, Mr. Clifford, and of course, Miss Smith that run all our extra teams. Without their help, we would not be as successful as we are. So once again, let me unmute you all. And I want everybody to give a nice big cheer and a round of applause to all our teachers and all our, all our helpers. Ray, really, everyone give a cheer. Yay! 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 I'm loving that. It's like my own personal round of applause. It's brilliant. Okay, enough's enough. I'm muted again. Right then. So let me just mute you guys all again. There we go. 
and let's move on again. Now, Mr. Gale would like to say a few words. However, he's had to pre-record his speech as Miss Lee and I have had to send him on a top secret mission around Dubai. So he'll probably pop in during, during the ceremony every now and again, but here's his speech for you guys. Okay, so once again, let me share my screen. I'm gonna have to share this one. Sound is on. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you very much for joining me. And I appreciate the opportunity to speak at the annual awards this afternoon. My speech is about the game, but the game of life. We're not born with self-confidence or a positive attitude. We do not automatically know how to conquer fear or accept feedback, overcome obstacles or snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. As young students, you don't always know what it's like to come back after failure or to be a humble winner or to show grace after a terrible loss. We can learn so much through the power of sport. Sport teaches us so much more than winning or losing. I myself am not very good at sport. You don't, you don't have to be the best footballer or netballer or at swimming. The sport itself, whilst important, is not the be all and end all for the reason of the game. There are skills that you can take with you as you strive to be the best versions of yourself that you can be. We are serious about sport and serious about being involved in all that sport can bring us into adulthood. adulthood. We want to use every opportunity to not only prepare for the game, but prepare for life. What can the game teach us? It's not just about being great at sports. It's being great at the generic skills that you can learn through sports. And what have I witnessed this year? Attitude is everything. Being positive, setting high expectations, replacing negative thinking, growth mindset. Winning is as much mental as it is physical. Control your emotions, stay focused, stay disciplined. M master the fundamentals, practice, 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 execute the basics and always try your best. Remain flexible and embrace change. Be a team player and keep your perspective. Be a leader without a title. Set standards of excellence for yourself and others. If you can't play fair, then don't play. Integrity matters and quitting is not an option. There are times when things get tough, but as Morgan Freeman says, the best way to guarantee a loss is actually to quit. Learn to forgive. Winning is not everything, but making the effort to win is. Look to the future rather than the past and don't dwell on the losses and defeats. Know that losing doesn't actually make you a failure. Bounce back, grit, resilience. But be a good winner. Be a winner on and off the field and be humble and quietly proud, but never self-satisfied. Don't let the success go to your head. And as I've watched from the sidelines at the matches this year, these are the skills that I have seen you learn and value. These have led to humble victories and gracious losses. We have certainly developed a thirst and a hunger to be on the sport, sporting map this year at HIS, a thirst and a hunger for the game. The awards today not only mark your victory and success in sport, but also your success in being the best versions of you, and both of which I am incredibly proud. Thank you, and congratulations to you all. Awesome, thank you very much. Awesome, can everyone see me again? Give me a wave if you can see me. Yeah, hi everyone. Awesome. Thank you very much, Mr. Gale, for his kind and inspiring words, as always. He always knows the right thing to say. So, um, Mr. Green, 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 Mr. Greenhouse. Yes. Greenhouse. Yeah. Hi. Um, Hi. There's a couple of people in the wait. I've just, just wanted to say there's a couple of people in the waiting room who would like to be let in. Okay. Let me double check. 
Uh, no, there's no one in the waiting room at the moment. I've just let in Lucia. So okay. uh, there's no one else there, but I will keep on checking that. Thank you very much for the reminder. Uh, right, so it's now time for the P department to be sharing our highlights of this year. So I'm going to start and I'm going to talk about my highlight would have been hosting the under 11 BSME games. I know it seems that it's quite hard, but our, all our team works so hard to build that tournament up. From the squad working so hard from, sounds like September, October time, they're prepping, they're planning, they were building up to it and really making so much progress. The department and the school worked really hard in planning it and had to put in a lot to make this competition a success and to really showcase HAS at its best. And it would have been, as I always like to say, amazing, amazing. Alas, it wasn't meant to be. But another highlight of mine was having the pleasure of running both the under eight and under nine football teams. What a highlight that was, watching those boys develop over the season. All of them have worked so hard for their teams and for each other, developing every game and just getting better and better. It was an absolute pleasure taking those boys in turn one, and I know that they're just going to go on step by step next year, as long as the under nines can take a penalty. Right, I'm going to now pass over to Mr. Tate, I think I will pass over to. So I'm going to spotlight Mr. Tate, unmute Mr. Tate, and then he's good to go. Mr. Tate, over to you. Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Awards. Um, so I've got three highlights from this year. Um, my first highlight has been working closely with the sports leaders, um, Anissa, Sophia and Ilias. Uh, it's been a pleasure to watch them grow within their, within their chosen sports, but also as sports leaders who've selfish, selflessly given back their time to support others. Um, my second uh, highlight is uh, putting out our first ever under-19 boys basketball team. Um, the lads were great fun and we had a brilliant team spirit all the way through the season and, uh, and it was really great going on all the fixtures and they were very um, reliable when it came to training. So that was a, a big highlight for me. And finally, um, working with the under-10 boys uh, football team. Um, they're a great bunch of sporty boys uh, who were very committed and uh, very professional in their approach. Uh, they were all talented across the team and uh, were very hungry for success. So uh, I had three big highlights there and uh, I think I'm passing on now to Mr Heskett. Okay, right, so let me just find Mr Heskett. Thank you very much. There he is. Hello. It's good to see you all. Um, so I had to choose between a couple of highlights. It could have been my under 14 boys football team who were fantastic from the off this year. But I've decided to go with the BSME, under 13 BSME games. Um, it was the first time that we've been able to enter a secondary team into the BSME games. Uh, and it just proves how far You've all come, but it proves how far the school is coming as well, um, and it was so good to see. Watching the students compete in football, netball, volleyball and athletics against the top schools from across the Middle East um, and knowing how hard that you had all worked was a privilege uh, and it made us all extremely proud. I can't wait to see what the New Year 7s and New Year 8s next year can achieve in next year's competition. I'm going to pass on now to Miss Lee. Okay, my screen is just frozen. Sorry. <laughs> Can you hear me? Hello, oh, Miss Lee's there. Hi, everyone. So I've missed you all massively. I've been told that I have to keep this speech short because I can waffle on, so I will keep it short. So I have a few highlights as well from this year. Um, working really closely with the BSME under 11 squad. They have been unbelievable this year, working tirelessly from the beginning of the year, right up until February, when we got told that the games had been canceled. Now, I don't want to take away from the fact that they were giving up 
weekends, mornings, lunch times, after schools, to put in that commitment. And I think that makes me really proud as a teacher at Horizon because of how fantastic our kids are. So keep up that commitment. But my one particular moment from this year has to go to the under 13 BSME girls football. Okay, now this was an unbelievable day for me. I uh, lost my voice. I think I lost everything out there. I was jumping up and down like a mad woman, me and Mrs. Jones. Um, so we started off with the squad who some of the girls haven't played football before, but they just have a passion for sport. So we arrived with some excellent skills on show from the other schools, massive schools in Abu Dhabi, large schools that we were competing against. And as a team, as a squad, we just decided we can only beat what's in front of us. We go out there, we have fun, but we show them what we are made of. And as the day progressed, we just wanted it more and more and more. And I could physically see on the girls' faces just how proud they were and how much they wanted it. And we ended up getting all the way through to the semi-finals of the BSME competition, which for me was an unbelievable achievement. We won two penalty shootouts. We only conceded five goals in the whole day. Um, a huge mention goes to Bushra, our amazing goalkeeper on the day, and also the girls who were just running and running and running all day. We unfortunately lost in the semi-finals, but to finish fourth out of 20 schools in the whole of the Middle East made me an incredible teacher. And I'm getting a little bit emotional thinking about it back, and it was back in January. So well done to all of you girls who played with pa pa uh, passion, pride, and commitment that day. You made myself, the whole Horizon community, I know we had a lot of staff there supporting, you made us all extremely proud. So thank you. Awesome, thank you. Who am I going to? Miss Grandadas Jones. No, that's Jesse. Say hello, Jesse. There we go. Spotlight video. There she is. Hi, everybody. So nice to see you all. So nice to see so many of the dancers as well. Um, my highlight, obviously, this year was Desert Dance. This is my first year at Horizon International School, and I was overwhelmed by the amount of people who turned up to the dance studio for those first two sets of auditions. I really, really couldn't believe it. Um, I'm all about inclusion, so I love that you all wanted to dance, and I believe that everybody should dance, and you did a brilliant job. The rehearsals were fantastic, you were all so committed with so much effort and talent, you are beyond supportive of each other no matter what year group you're in, and that's so amazing and so nice to see that you really contribute and you care about each other. Um, I know I pushed you all really, really hard, sorry, um, but you stepped up to the plate and were amazing. And on the performance day, I was so proud. I cried for most of the day, not because you were terrible, but because you were so amazing. And we won the um, Spirit Award for secondary because of how nice you were to everybody and what a real kind of horizon spirit you showed to everyone at Desert Dance. And primary won the best narrative because you guys really sold that story. Um, thank you so much for making my first year at Horizon amazing. You're a great bunch of dancers. Mm. Thank you so much. Right then, so as we said, we were talking about Mr. Gale being on a secret mission and he's just, he wants to pop himself in just to say a few words. Mr. Gale, are you there? Hello, everyone. Can, can you hear me? We can hear you. Can everyone hear me? I'm nearly at my mission. we can mission. see you. Okay. You can see me? Yeah. Right, we can see. I'm nearly there. Secret squirrel mission. Just a little bit of traffic, but I'm on my way to find you. <laughs> Who knows where he is? Amazing. Who knows? Right. Um, da -da -da -da. Are we back on to me, or are we still on Miss Brendaro's Jones? On me. Awesome. Okay, so now it is time for the main awards, for the most improved player and the player of the season. Hopefully you've all managed to see the nominations and we wish you all the best of luck. This year's nominations were really hard to choose, as each year you are always getting better and better. 
becoming excellent sportsmen and women. So a massive well done and congratulations for just even being nominated. You all really are serious about sport. Now, these are gonna work a little bit differently than how we usually do them. Um, I just need to do this. Uh, it's a real shame that we're not able to hand these out face to face and hand by hand. But obviously the current situation deems it so. But please understand that it doesn't take away the importance of receiving these awards. For us as a department, we're so proud of all of you and we just want to congratulate every single winner because we are really, really proud and really pleased of your achievement. Each winner will receive a certificate via email and it would be great if you'd be able to send us a picture back either by email or by Instagram as a nice cool little picture just celebrating those successes. Okay, best of luck everybody. The video that we're going to show has all the winners on it but as I said before, this video will be on YouTube and sent out to everybody, okay? So if you miss, if you miss it, you can always have another look, okay? Oh, the suspense. <laughs> The suspense. Good luck, everyone. There we are. You're right, Mr. Green. Uh, Miss Lee, right I can't see the video. Yeah, it's not on yet, neither can I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Won't be long. Okay, just bear with me. <laughs> oh, don't you just love it when a plan doesn't come together? That's all right, Mr. Green, I'll keep going. Did everyone see the nominations? Okay, we sent out um, a list of all the people who've been nominated. So if you are on that list, that's amazing as well. So really well done. This little video will just go through the winners. So there will be a most improved winner and there will be a player of the year winner for each of the teams that have competed in DASA this year. So Thank you. Thank you, Miss Lee. Saved my bacon there. Right, so here we go. I'm just going to share this now. Here we go. This is the moment you've waited for You've been searching in the dark Your sweat soaking through the floor And buried in your bones There's an ache that you can't ignore Taking your breath Stealing your mind And all that was real is left behind Don't fight it, it's coming for you Running at you It's only this moment Don't care what can gather you yeah, feel a dream, can't you see you getting closer? Just surrender, cause you feel the feeling taking over. It's fire, it's freedom, it's flooding open. It's a picture in the pulpit and your blood devotion. There's something breaking at the brick of every wall, it's holding all that you know. So tell me, do you want?
Woohoo! Well done, everybody. Um, where can I just put it Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to stop sharing my screen. <laughs> As it is, there we go, stop sharing. Here we are, and I'm back again. So I want a nice round of applause. I'm gonna unmute everybody, and I want a huge round of applause for every single person who just won an award. Awesome, congratulations. Every single person who's just won an award there, we're so proud and so pleased that all of you managed to come and join us today to receive those. As we said, if you missed it, then the video will be back again and it will be up for everybody to see. And the certificates will come out. So massive congratulations once again. Uh, be really, really proud of yourself. Okay, so now. I don't know. Maybe like Nana. Gabriel, stop talking. Carson. <laughs> Gabriel. Stop talking. Yeah, just mute. There right, we go. Okay, so Gabriel. now we're going to mute everybody again. So awesome. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the main awards of the night or the afternoon, even. These awards are for teams and for students who have shown outstanding commitment who've gone above and beyond and have an unfaltering attitude and a desire to improve when it comes to sport and PE. This once again was a massive discussion within the PE department, it always is every single year. And we just wanna say a huge congratulations. It's, there were so many more nominations and we wish we could give out more awards, but we'd be here all night if we could. So the first award is the team award, team of the year. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass you over to Mr. Tate who is going to announce the team award. Hi everyone, so I've got the pleasure of announcing the, uh, the team of the year. Um, before I do, I just want to talk about what I think uh, makes a good team, the characteristics of, uh, that are needed to, uh, to be a good team. Um, firstly, I think reliability is really important. And this team, they turned up every training session on every match, no excuses. I didn't have to chase anybody. Um, showing dedication within training and wanting to improve that was on show every, every week. They were there and they were working hard together. Good teamwork and knowing your role within a team. Having good tactical understanding and playing to the strengths of the team. Having a good team spirit. All great teams develop strong bonds and work together um, to succeed. Having that competitive edge and desire to succeed. This team had that. They really wanted to win at all, all the time. Being strong in every position, having no weaknesses within the team. We had a strong defense, and also we had the ability to score goals from lots of different areas from around the pitch. They stayed focused, focused throughout the season, and um, they all shared the same collective goal, and that was to win. They were humble in success, but also in defeat. And they bounced back stronger from any setbacks that they had. This team was one of the most successful football teams that the schools ever had. And they finished second in Dubai overall and qualified for the DASA finals. So the team of the year this year goes to the under 10 boys football team. So well Woo! done to you. Everyone's unmuted. Round of applause, guys. Woo! There were other contenders, but they just stood out this year as being a really strong team across the board. So really well done to you. Well done, boys. Awesome job. Well done, guys. We are so proud of you all. Okay. So, now we're going to move on to our next award, 
which is the Outstanding Contribution to Sport Award. Now, I have the honor of handing this award out. And this girl is an outstanding contributor. We couldn't ask for anything more from her. She contributes to every single team she can, football, swimming, athletics, beer and me, the list goes on. She's a vital player in every single one of those squads. She is always at every single training session and has shown us a true commitment to, sorry, and a true commitment to her sport. She shows a tireless work ethic and a huge desire to improve. We asked a couple of teachers actually how you would describe this girl. Dynamite was one. Amazing is another one. She had a real strong heart, so a never give up attitude, that desire to achieve and be the best that she can be. She is our Spanish superstar. Our winner for Outstanding Contribution to Sport is Lucia Serrano. Woo, let me unmute everybody. Thank you. Where, are, where are you, Lucia? Well done. Got a live video, there she is. Oh, well done. Wave, say hello, say thanks. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Well done. <laughs> we are really so proud of you. Really well done. So, muting everybody again. And now, the outstanding contribution to dance. Now, this is obviously a new award this year. But we just feel that dance has become so important within Sport and PE that we couldn't let it go by without celebrating it. So over now to Miss Brandaras Jones. Hello everybody again. So dance is very important to me and to a lot of our amazing students at the school. And this one dancer in particular has really, really stood out to me this year. From the minute I met her, she was so excited to dance and talk about dance and show me down. She spent, I think, 65% of her time sat at my desk showing me videos of herself dancing, which for me is amazing because I absolutely love that. She is beyond talented, beyond her years of talent. She's so incredibly talented. She's an amazing performer. She's also a fantastic person and willing to help everybody else get better in their dance journey. She is focused determined and she is the kind of child that will be in two places at once and has done that in my presence so that she can perform at one place and then perform at another. I'm really really going to miss this person and I'm going to miss her stood next to my desk and shouting me Joe BJ down the corridor which is not my teaching name is it? However this wonderful person and extreme talent and I'm sure she'll be very 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 famous as a dancer in the future is drum roll please mm. hope it's not back to front oh it is jesse grace burnett yeah. well done jesse <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well done, Jesse. Well done, Jess. 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 The key stage two for performer of the year. So now the honor of giving this one out is Miss Jenny Lee. Just let me mute everybody. And then I'll unmute Miss Lee. Thank you. Hello again. Hope you're all um, enjoying the awards. So I have the pleasure, absolute pleasure of um, presenting this award. Okay, so this is Key Stage 2 Performer of the Year. So when we sat as a department to, to think about this, I can guarantee this name kept coming up and up and up. She, I will say she, very early on, is an unbelievable person. 
okay she's an amazingly talented person she's very kind she's got amazing attributes going across the board um, I've had the pleasure of teaching her for the last three years and I've watched her mature and develop into an amazing young sports performer um, she's undoubtedly extremely talented in lots of different sports um, but the thing that gets me is it's not just that talent it's that commitment desire and drive that she has to want to succeed okay for me she emphasizes a lot about our school okay with this community spirit and she is there the front and foremost of a lot of our team um, this talent was obviously seen from a very early age as she represented the under 11 Vietnamese squad when she was only in year four okay straight away my first year in horizon I knew how incredible this person was going to be. Um, so not only is it the talent, she shows resilience. When she gets injured, she doesn't let it get her down. She comes back and she just strives to come back stronger, fitter, better than before. Okay? She's fueled to work particularly hard. Training session, she will be there. She'll be the first one there. She'll be working so hard to improve. When she trains or competes, you can physically see how hard she's working and how much she wants that. Okay, and that's something that not many people are lucky enough to possess. The talent and the commitment to fantastic um, balance. So over the years, I've taught her, I've coached her, I've just been loved being around her. She makes me smile, she makes me laugh. And honestly, one of the most talented sports person, uh, sports people I've ever seen. She's been a key member of pretty much every squad we've offered this year. She is in the swim squad, football squad, netball team, aquathon, rounders, athletics. Um, she's an amazing sports leader as well. So she's showing leadership skills. She hasn't just got the talent, she's got the knowledge as well. Um, I'm really proud and it does make me a little bit emotional to see how much she has improved over the last few years. And undoubtedly, um, she will go on to do big, big things in the future. And I cannot wait to see where she goes. So, I've done one as well. He Stage 2, Performer of the Year, goes to Sophia Zaccaro. Well done, Sophia. Woo! Well done, Sophia. Well done, Sophia. <laughs> well done, Sophia. Well done, Sophia. Well done. Yes, yes, yes. A, big, a big smile on that face. <laughs> well done, you superstar. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Well done, Sophia. So now for key stage three, sports performer of the year. So we're going to be over to Mr. Heskith once more. I'll unmute you, sir. There you go. Hello. God, Jesse, you nearly made me cry then. Um, so I've got the pleasure, oh, that's back to front, of announcing the Key Stage 3 Sports Performer of the Year. This is going to go to somebody who has represented Horizon in just an unbelievable amount of sports. When they've done so, they've done it with an unmatched passion and commitment to the sport, to their team uh, and to the school. And they've shown an unbelievable drive to always improve. But most of all, they've got a ridiculous amount of talent. Uh, and that's shown in everything that they do. And because of that, they've played a key role in some of this year's greatest sports and successes. She absolutely never complains. She puts the team ahead of herself every time. She tries out different positions, different roles, and even different sports to help out the team and, um, and the school. Therefore, it's a great pleasure to award this year's Key Stage 3 Sports Performer of the Year to Pia Fursley. Now, unfortunately, Pia is not able to, to join us today. So I think what we yeah. just need to do is give a, a huge, I'll put you all on gallery view, and I think we just give her a massive round of applause. 
There we go, amazing. Let me flick through the galleries because there's so many of you. Amazing. Well done, Pia. So now, I have the honour now of talking about Key Stage 4, Sports Performer of the Year. And it's about time that we started to celebrate the boys. So, there were three outstanding candidates for this award. However, this boy has shown us their real true passion in sport, their desire to participate in every single extracurricular activity. We couldn't ask for any more for that. Throughout his years, he's always been involved in the football, athletics, and now he's started to find his passion in basketball. And not only has he assisted and helped coach the younger age groups, but he also was selected this year to play for DASA in the under 15s basketball, which is no small feat at all. We were so proud of him for doing that. He's an absolute pleasure to teach and an outstanding sportsman and gentleman. This award goes to Ali Zachariah. Ali. Ali, I guess you're the chicken. Woo Ooh, round of applause for Ali. Let's see him. Well done, Ali. Woo well done, Ali. Once again, Ali has been unable to make it this, this time. But he will receive his, his award. You told me he now, was coming. You told me he was coming as well. He hasn't done it. So now we move on to the main, the big award. Okay, sports personality. But before we go on to sports personality, which is going to be introduced by Miss Lee, we have last year's sports personality. In fact, for the last three years, we have the sports personality, Mr. Ilyas Bakayev, who would like to just share a few words about his experiences within that. So, Ilyas, let me share your screen, my friend. And unmute you. Away you go, Mr. Bakayev. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As most of you already know me, I'm a very adequate swimmer, and I've had to prove that a couple of times throughout my years in high school of Horizon International School, uh, both inside for internal events and external championships as well. I must say it's been a pleasure to welcome new members of our primary swim team who have participated in some of our secondary school galas and allowed us to gain more points during our competitions. And another huge thanks goes out to the P department for allowing me to coach our younger primary squad, primary student squad, allowing me to work with uh, our younger performers and gain that coaching experience uh, for my future as well. Um, I hope to represent our school for one more last year of my school career uh, and hopefully making a memorable one by breaking the BSME records and the DASA records one more time. Um, I wish you all a safe stay over the summer and that we can all return to our day-to-day -day lives and training schedules as soon as possible. I have taken this time we had to prepare to spend wisely by learning about my competition and how swimmers who are better than me train as there is always someone you can look up to no matter what stage you are in your sports career. And most importantly, prepare yourself to give 110% during all of your trainings to show how much you've missed your training sessions for me, the pool, and to succeed in achieving your goals. Um, without taking any much more of your time, I would like to congratulate all the nominees and all the winners for tonight's awards. I wish all of you the best in your sporting careers. And if you ever need any advice, feel free to come up to me and talk to me in school. Thank you, everyone. Thank well you, Elias. Well done. Well done Elias. Some great words there, Elias. Thank you so much. Um, right then, so on to the main award of the night, Sports Personality of the Year 2020. And I am going to now spotlight Miss Lee, who has the distinct pleasure in handing out this award. Again, thank you. 
Um, I'm actually a little bit nervous because I don't think there are enough words from me that can actually represent just how amazing this um, sports personality is. Okay, but I'll give it a go. And I'm sure there are lots of other words that we could say about this person and we could talk about their successes and their um, commitment until next week and we still wouldn't probably say enough. So, Sports Personality 2020. This person is a very high performer at Horizon International School. They excelled, excel, sorry, in their professional fields. Okay, and they are an extremely talented individual. They have lots of drive, determination and passion. And over the last year, they were actually challenged to kind of broaden their horizons. Okay, we knew this person was an amazing um, athlete in their field. We wanted to see what they could do in other areas. And they took that in their stride and they absolutely have flourished this year, attending different sports clubs, and being pushed out of their comfort zone to do things that they maybe wouldn't have otherwise done. Um, so this person, as I've said, shows passion, determination, um, drive to be the very best version of themselves. They've just got a natural hunger to want to be the best. Every time they step up to compete, you can see they want to win. Um, this person uh, has won numerous awards. I possibly couldn't list them all, but I'll try and give a few just to show off their amazing talent. So they have broken DASA records. They are the current DASA record holder in their sport. They are a DASA champion um, in two different sports, sorry, two different activities. They train, compete at the highest standard. They compete for club they also compete regularly for the school. They're part of the Evolve program. They are a sporting scholar. They have produced workout videos through this distance learning time. They have been pushed out of their comfort zone and produced a very inspirational TED talk on the Evolve program. And they've been part of the Studio Republic group. Now this person for us as a P department, we, did, we, we were all in favor of person receiving the award just to your talent so she no well, well miss lee miss lee miss lee sorry i'm gonna have to stop oh. you here i'm gonna have to stop you yeah, just we'll get back we'll get, we'll get straight back to that in a second but i've got to i've got to go straight to mr gale now because he is in a secret position mr gale you're there oh, he's there yeah ring Should the I doorbell do yeah you go you do it you do it now Who's at the door? Come on, where is he? Has your doorbell just rung? Surprise! It's Anissa! Anissa! Everyone's Anissa! unmuted. Anissa! 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 Well done. <laughs> Incredible. Well done, Anissa. No way. Oh, well done. Hey, well done. <laughs> I will officially announce it. So, without further ado, <laughs> Sports Personality 2020 goes to the incredible swimmer, Anissa Bliocca. Well done, Anissa. And Mr. Gale delivered the secret mission. We thought he deserved to receive that trophy. Even in these unprecedented times, he deserved to receive that trophy. I think, Mr. Greenhouse, you need to spotlight me or someone else other than a blank video, but never mind. <laughs> Could we go to um, Lisa so she can give a few words if she wants to? Yes, I'm trying to. I'll put her on the spot. Thanks to Mr. Tate, she's used to um, doing presentations now, talking in front of the camera. There's Anissa, oh, there she, she is. Hey. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Well done, Hi. well done Anissa. We are so, so proud of you. Brilliant Anissa, well done. 
You deserve awesome it. Work. Well done. Well, well done. Should we do right. a big round of applause? Big round of applause. One last big round of applause. Round of applause. <laughs> Wish we could celebrate with you, but you really deserve it. Well done. Keep working hard. We miss you. Let's have a big smile on your face. Well done. Okay, guys. Right. So, are we? Are we, are we back on me now? Um, and okay. So, congratulations to every single one of you who has just won an award. Not just those big ones, but for every single award tonight, for the most improved players, for the player of the seasons. All of you have worked so hard all year, and we are so proud of you all. But before, before we leave you all today and say our final goodbyes, we'd just like to say a few thank yous to you all. Okay, so for the parents, I'm sure you're hiding behind those screens or just sat next to them. I think every single one of you needs to look to your left or look to your right and say a massive, massive thank you to your parents. So without those guys, you wouldn't be where you are today and they help so much. So a massive round of applause to your parents. Yay! Woohoo! And then a final, another one needs to go to you guys as the students. Because without all of you guys, we wouldn't have the teams. We wouldn't have the fun as we always do, and schools wouldn't operate. So, a massive, massive round of applause to all of you. A massive round of applause again for all of you guys as students. Woo! And then a final, final one to the PE staff and the teachers that have helped again. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. I wouldn't have all the fun that I have, and we wouldn't be achieving what we achieve as a school and as a group, as a cohort, as a community, without all of your guys' help. So please, for Mr. Heskiff, Mr. Tate, Miss Lee, Miss I, Miss Brendaris Jones, give a massive round of applause for all of you guys. Thank you so much. So as, as I said at the start, the videos will be on YouTube in the next couple of days. Certificates will go out. So please thank you all for joining us today. Stay safe, look after each other, wash your hands, and we hopefully will look forward to seeing you all again in September in some capacity or another. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye, well everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Wish you all. Bye. 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 Well done, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Quinn. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Well done. Bye. Bye.